So when looking at financial documents, there are two people involved. You've got the purchaser, that's the person buying the stuff, and the supplier, that's the person selling them the stuff. And this is obviously within a business-to-business -business context. Um, who sends what then? So the purchaser sends a purchase order saying, look, I want this stuff. Goes on the purchase order. The supplier then sends it back to them with the delivery note. The purchaser can either send back a scrappy version of the delivery note, which often happens, or phone up if something is wrong. Um, or if everything's okay, but generally, a lot of people generally tend to send a goods received note, which is basically a copy of the delivery note with things ticked off saying, yeah, we've received all these things, fine. Okay, the supplier then raises an invoice to the purchaser. So they sent, the supplier sends that, obviously, saying, we want our money for all the stuff we've sent you. Okay, the purchaser could complain or could have complained around the goods received or the delivery note saying look we've not received the stuff we wanted or some of it was damaged in which case the supplier will send out a credit note saying although we're going to invoice you this stuff you're actually in credit with us um, so you don't have to pay everything because we owe you a certain amount of money for damaged or unreceived goods or you could use that later on to get goods for free later down the line depending on how you want to use it and finally the supplier at the end of everything will send out a receipt saying we've received payment for everything we've invoiced you for so a receipt is just confirming yeah we've received payment we sent you these things you've paid for it here's a, a little document backing all of that up pretty straightforward really so those are the four the supplier sends and those are the two the purchaser sends